Greetings friend. Watch Refrigeration News for Friday, July 21, 2023 on our channel. Sanwa Electronic Kit Series has been expanded with four new models. Kaori Kaohsiung Plant Revolutionizing Automation. BESA Announces Annual Conference. Advancer Launches Low Superheat and Value Pack Light CO2 Refrigeration Systems. Britta Permat's New Yerevan Commission Vice Chairperson. Ashray awarded 0.85 million grand for Energy Code Training Collaborative. Hudson Technologies Emerald Refrigerants named top product of 2023 by Environment Plus Energy Leader. Panasonic extends heat pump production in Europe. Dear friend, please like this video if it was useful for you. First news today. Sanwa Electronic Kit Series has been expanded with four new models. The new set comprises SEC controller, LPF electronic expansion valve, pressure transducer, with Packard cable and temperature sensor, allowing rapid system setup for virtually all common applications. In addition, with fewer braised points the risk of leaks is reduced dramatically, providing greater system reliability. The commercial refrigeration sector can expect a major boost to performance, energy efficiency and convenience with the arrival of the newly developed Sanwa Electronic Kit, SEK. Read more of the news on our website today. Second news today. Kaori Kaohsiung Plant Revolutionizing Automation Kaohsiung Plant Revolutionizing Automation paves the way for a future where efficiency, productivity, and sustainability. To provide better products and services, Kaori inputs a vast amount of resources to introduce advanced green and autonomous technologies, improving production capacity and efficiency. Installing solar panels on top of new building roofs supports clean energy development and reduces carbon emissions. Read more of the news on our website today. Third news today. BESA announces annual conference. The Building Engineering Services Association, BESA, is bringing together its most ambitious and wide-ranging program of commercial and technical content to date for its sixth annual conference this October. The association has now launched the full program for its one-day event October 12th at the Novotel London West. It comprises three seminar strands grouped under an overall heading of building businesses, building the future with content designed to appeal to building services professionals, young engineers, facilities managers, manufacturers, and specifiers. Read more of the news on our website today. Fourth news today. Advancer launches low superheat and value pack light CO2 refrigeration systems. Advancer announced the launch of the low superheat and value pack light sustainable CO2 refrigeration systems. Advancer has solidified its position as the market leading CO2 climate solutions manufacturer by designing a series of innovative heating and cooling systems for the food retail market. The new low superheat option has been tested in more than 30 supermarkets across cold and warm climates with measurements showing energy savings of up to 30% compared to older systems. Read more of the news on our website today. Fifth news today. Britta Permat's new Eurovon Commission Vice Chairperson. During the 2023 Eurovon Annual Meeting in Rotterdam, Netherlands, the Eurovon Commission appointed Britta Permat's, Managing Director at Svensk Ventilation, as its new Vice Chairperson. Britta Permat succeeds Ilka Salo, Managing Director at Taltika in the position of the Eurovon Commission Vice Chairperson. She will be supporting the continuing chairperson Lennart Ostergaard, Senior Manager at Veltech Ventilation. Read more of the news on our website today. Sixth news today. Ashray awarded 0.85 million grand for Energy Code Training Collaborative. Ashray, along with seven partnering organizations, announced that it has been awarded a 0.85 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy Building Technologies Office for Resilient and Efficient Codes Implementation, RECI. RECI is a product of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, which provides an opportunity to advance the efficiency and resilience of buildings through successfully implementing updated energy codes in states and local jurisdictions throughout the United States. Read more of the news on our website today. Seventh news today. Hudson Technologies Emerald Refrigerants named top product of 2023 by Environment Plus Energy Leader. Hudson Technologies Incorporated, a leading provider of innovative sustainable solutions to the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, 
and refrigeration industry, and one of the nation's largest refrigerant reclaimers, announced that its Emerald Refrigerants line of products has received recognition as the prestigious top product of the year in the Environment Plus Energy Leader Awards program. Read more the news on our website today. Eighth news today. Panasonic extends heat pump production in Europe. Panasonic Heating and Amp Cooling Solutions marked a historic moment with full production of the Aquaria L series, a new generation of heat pump using R290 natural refrigerant, now being produced completely in Europe. This move reinforces Panasonic's sustainability concept, Panasonic Green Impact, reducing its carbon footprint through local production for local consumption. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Follow Refrigeration News on social networks. Please find the links below.